And we got one minute for driver change, one minute for driver change. And the driver's had a mandatory driver change every 15 minutes. We got to change drivers to change costumes. Because if you were coming to me, you're a different person. This is the power of these things here. It's not that big of a bunch. You take the stuff, make a bigger bunch of forward, get it set a little forward. But there's five hundred dollars in these things in the main main lines and machines. Just 36 volts. 1400 watts. These things become the most greatest things that you can see in a mega bear. For the same price of a new power wheel, you can make a better power wheel and make it yourself by just a click. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and you can make yourself a great little thing out of that. Ten seconds of driver change now. Every single one of us got the pull over the and change drivers. I noticed that when I stand near the track, I just get high fived. I see a little driver change, one to a driver change. Alright, so the third driver change of the endurance race. And right now, Mindy Ferrari, young leaders. Half PGH making a battery change right now. Half PGH battery change. So Mindy Ferrari just making a driver change. They're going to go empty into power racing. The battery change for Half PGH is going to start costing them. Mindy and Ferrari Phantom, one and two, are both the quickest in and out of the pits. If you can direct your attention over here, fans, it is quite busy right now. It looks like Football Labs is going out with. With a Milwaukee Makerspace driver, our video videographer is now driving the Milwaukee Makerspace car. And it's official, all the hands out of the man over is officially out both cars. Cottage Ashley with their Moxie sewing string attack. Looking for Moxie boots out there. He and Matilda, both out of our hands after the man over. We're going to have to go with Moxie in order to get some points now. While everything's going around. And there's a couple of cars now just slowly leaking out of the pit lane after that driver change. Looks like somebody wearing a mustache and a beard. I don't know who that is. But that's obviously a different driver. That's for sure. So many monsters. Two Negro Man. I think that they tried to exit the pit lane but then stalled about five feet from it. Iron Rose now is starting to come back out. That looks like about a three minute uh, pit stop for them. That's not very good. We got 20 set, 28 minutes left in the racing here. Yeah, I forgot to hear any Chini Miku Man pits. It is completely hectic. I'm trying to figure out what happened so far in the last 25 minutes. I don't know. He can move about 20 feet out of spin test to trigger waters and then it's going again for another 20 feet. Patrick, I'm here in the pits right now. Tell me what is happening. So, Timmy Mikuban lost a super cheap, like, $5 plastic hand throttle. And, of course, without that, you can't tell the car to go. So, we conveniently uh, saw an identical one off of another silly vehicle in our pit. And speed soldered it on, and it's hot glued poorly and sort of working, maybe not really. Nope. I'm going to look this up with Shannon because he may have to the cars and want it again. Uh, it's not riding on the parking lot surface, but they're a little bit smoother back home, so. Yeah, one of the tough things about this parking lot is it's quite intense. Meanwhile, we have got to get another caution for Chia and Eco Van. It is just not going together, but it, it is by no means the fault of their crew, which is working tirelessly to try to get their car going. One of the hallmarks of the Power Racing Series, ladies and gentlemen, is to fix your car as many times as you need to to complete the race, no matter what. GD Niki Van will finish this race somehow. Whether or not it's under its own power is up to the fortunes that the team has. But right now, as luck sways away from them, their efforts have not given up. Their iron will continues on, even though they've fallen down towards the standings, even after having a tremendous start in the race. But they can still get your moxie points, ladies and gentlemen. Please support your moxie for those teams out there who had some bad luck, because they are definitely putting the effort forth. But right now, 
Now, towards the top of the order, we have Nimby Ferrari, followed by Phantom Hall Racing, Cards Atrophy, and I, Tree Detroit. I want to remind everyone to have some fantastic merchandise available to sell at the merchandise sets, t-shirts, tickets, posters, and more available at low prices. All of this brought to you by Wicked Race. Make a move. As I'm dousing myself with water from all the heat on the track, I have to admit, hey, 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 hey. look at that one. Looks like it was, was it Fubo? It looks like Fubo leaving a point swing and it's going into the pits now. Unfortunate tire pop. That was a loud one. A lot of these tires are cheap lawnmower tires, the tires off the wheel bill. They're not meant for racing and they blow. That's right. It would be too easy to have them use regular go-kart racing slicks. No, these engineers have to build a car around parts that weren't designed to handle it. And that's why you see the challenge for it. It is not easy to build a power racer to spec. You have to fight off quite a few engineering challenges, let alone a few racetrack challenges themselves. And, try, and remember to vote for Moxie because these teams are right all racing for your heart. The Moxie board is out there. Can I get the Moxie board up for that hard too? Reese in the top hat has got the Moxie board somewhere. Where is that Moxie board, Reese? Well, anyways, we know it's out there. It's always out there. I don't know where Reese is. Oh, he's over there? There he is. There he is. But right, the Moxie board. Where is he? I didn't see him. He's out over there by Nimby's pit lane. Nimby, Reese has to go out there and get some monster boats from the crowd. He's like he's someone in the pit lane boat. He's making sure he can get everyone to boat. And meanwhile, it is pretty maddening in the pit. But I have to admit, there's quite a few cars still out there floating down laps. Ladies and gentlemen, out of our fields of 17 cars, eight cars have completed over a hundred laps right now. Eight cars, a hundred laps completed. That is quite the achievement for a tiny electric go karts made under $500. These cars are going for 75 minutes of the game. I put on the pit lane and it looks like some sort of battery issue. Oh man, fourth place I think. I don't know if that's a mandatory pit stop for them or a scheduled one at that. They look a little too confused for it to be a scheduled pit stop. There might be something wrong with the fourth place team. Meanwhile, Back to the Future has managed to claw their way back to fifth place, while Tana Chibi is also back to completing some more laps. As we're winding down here, we're about two-thirds away at this conversation, ladies and gentlemen. And the field has finally thinned off. The attrition is setting. Fubo Labs from New Jersey is back out on the track. Fubo in 11th place right now. Yeah, driven by the Rocky Makerspace's Audrey, Fubo Labs is literally a one-person team, and everyone in the, in the pits are helping them out this weekend. And that is the kind of collaboration that makes a good make and fair. You know, it looks like that helmet's a little too large for it. Yeah, that's, that helmet I think weighs more than our show. Oh, oh, it's a tiny snails for there. She got up on two wheels. She might want to be a little more out of her helmet. But she stands her helmet down. She won't have to hold it on with one hand. And will have two hands to steer. Perhaps she could bump her helmet on. Finally back underway. Hack to the future. Now up to fourth place. They've been slowly clawing back the lead laps that they lost from their earlier mistakes. But it's been proving difficult because of the pace of this field. It's so intense. Oh, that's another one tire. Yeah, that is a one tire. Who is it? I'm not sure who that was. I heard it, but who is it? Was it I too? I don't even think the driver knows who has a flat. Is it Lotus Source Rex? It's the Lotus Source Rex. And P. has got a flat tire out there. It's just moved. Oh, no, no, it's not the Iron Rose. Oh. Yeah, there it is, I agree. 
I agree, Detroit. Unfortunately, with the flat tire possible. No, they're going right back out. No, they're back out again. They checked, and it looks like they 